welcome to my channel so today we are going to look into the architecture snowflake architecture is a hybrid of traditional architectures like shared disk and shared nothing architecture so before learning snowflake's architecture let's dive into what exactly are these shared disk and shared nothing architectures first let's look into what is shared disk architecture in Shared disk architecture, as the name suggests, the disk is shared among multiple nodes, but the main memory is not shared. Each of the node will have its own private memory. This private memory is used to store the temporary data and execute the processes. Whereas the shared disk will be storing the data in form of tables, rows, and columns. Also, it will be storing the control files and the log files. Shared disk architecture will ensure the integrity of data among all the nodes, as the nodes are reading from and writing to the shared disk. This was all about shared disk architecture. Now, let's look into the advantages of shared disk architecture. The first advantage is dynamic load balancing. Whenever there is a high incoming load, the traffic is dynamically divided among multiple nodes, ensuring that the system load is balanced. The second advantage is fault tolerance. It offers a great fault tolerance. That is, if the request comes to a failed node, the another node can take over its task and process the request. The third advantage is high availability. Shared disk systems permit high availability. All the data is accessible even if there is a node failure. No node has a sole responsibility for a particular set of data. If one node fails, the another node can send the response to the request. The fourth advantage is scalability. Shared disk architecture is very flexible in meeting users' needs. In case of increasing demand, more number of nodes can be easily added. Now, let's look into what are the disadvantages of shared disk architecture. The first disadvantage is increased coordination among the nodes. When persisting data in the shared disk architecture, we can perform write against any node. Shared disk architecture are write limited where if multiple nodes want to write the data, they must coordinate their logs around the cluster. For example, if node 1 and node 2 both attempt to write a data to the tuple, then there will be a consistency issue. To ensure consistent data in the tuple, they must either use a disk-based log table or communicate their intention to log a tuple to other nodes in the cluster. The second disadvantage is scalability. In shared disk architecture, the scalability is limited. We cannot add high number of nodes as it will create overload on the shared disk. The third disadvantage is bottleneck. Sharing a resource over an interconnection is always a potential bottleneck. And therefore, access to a shared disk is a potential bottleneck.